A decorator is a function that accepts a function and returns a function. So we've defined an is prime function here that will accept a number and return either true or false based on whether that number is prime. When we call is prime with a really big number, it takes a while. And even if we call it again with the same number, it still takes a while because it does the same work. If we wanted to speed up is prime so that whenever it was called with the same number that it had been called with previously or a number it's seen before, that it's fast, we could use the LRU cache decorator that's in the func tools module that's built into the Python standard library. LRU cache accepts a function and returns a new function that wraps around the original function. So we're going to point our is prime variable to whatever LRU cache gives us back, which is a little bit weird looking. But what this essentially does is it allows us to call is prime just as before, but we're calling the thing that came back from LRU cache. So this will be slow the first time, and then the second time it's fast. And the reason is the thing that LRU cache returned back to us, it calls our original is prime function, but it caches the return value for each argument that it has seen previously. So every time it's called, it stores the inputs and the outputs that correspond to it. Now, this syntax here is a little unusual to see. We don't usually use decorators like this in Python. Instead, if you want to make a function and then apply a decorator function to it, you can do this. You can use this at symbol. So we're defining our is prime function here fresh, and we're decorating it with this LRU cache decorator. So what this tells Python is we want you to define this function, take the function object that you get back from defining it, pass that to the LRU cache decorator, take the function you get back from calling the LRU cache decorator function, and assign our is prime variable name to point to that new function that came back from LRU cache. So just as before, if we call is prime the first time, it's going to be slow. And then the second time we call it, it's fast. And the reason is, is prime points to the function that came back from calling LRU cache. So it's not actually our original is prime function. Instead, it's another function that wraps around this function here. So I said before that decorators are functions that accept functions and return functions. I kind of lied. All three of those nouns can change. So a decorator can instead be a class which accepts a function and returns an instance of that class, or a function which accepts a class and returns a class. For example, the property decorator that's built into Python is actually a class so square.area, if we hadn't put property here, this would say it's a function object. Instead, it says it's a property object. So property is a class which accepts a function and returns an instance of that class, but we use it the same way as any other decorator. So this decorator function, uh, which is really a class, is used for decorating functions but it's implemented as a class under the hood. Now we can also decorate classes. So for example, we can make this same class here, this square class, by using the data class decorator that's in the data classes module in the Python standard library. This was added in Python 3.7. So square is now a class that accepts a width, even though we don't have an initializer, Data class made our initializer for us automatically, and it made a dunder wrapper method for a nice string representation for this class, all because we use the data class decorator to decorate this class as we were defining it. So a decorator is a callable, uh, usually a function, sometimes it's a class, but it's a callable that accepts either a function or a class and returns a new function or class that wraps around the original one. So you can decorate a function or you can decorate a class at the point where you're defining that function or class by using an at symbol. So use an at symbol, the name of the decorator, and then you put the body of your function or class. That's decorators in Python.